The FX series Impeachment portrays Monica Lewinsky sympathetically. She is, after all, one of the producers. But reviews have been rough and ratings have dropped by nearly half to just over half a million viewers, even as the main subject promotes it. The consequences were way worse for me oh, than they were for the most powerful man in the world and some of the other people in the scandal all 20 years older than me is insane. But Clinton accuser Paula Jones said the show never got in touch with her and that some material involving her is just made up. Bill Clinton presented himself to me in a very unprofessional manner. How can they portray somebody accurately if they don't even call him? Joining us now from New York is Julie Bandaris, Fox News anchor. Look, Monica Lewinsky, having been demonized for so long, has every right to tell her story. But Mm -hmm. given some of the reviews, The Guardian comparing this series to an SNL skit, do you think the magnitude of the scandal and of Bill Clinton's lying have been lost in this melodrama? I think so, but I just want to touch on something that Paula Jones just said about how the series didn't contact her. Fox actually did a documentary on Fox Nation, okay? We reached out to her, and the executive producer is a very close friend of mine, so I remember when she went through this. It was a nightmare. She couldn't get Monica, and then she tried Paula Jones multiple times. She booked her, and she kept canceling, and she flaked in the end. So she wasn't looking to get her side of the story out there, so it's interesting that now she's critiquing Monica. I have to say this, though. People are not watching this because essentially they don't want to give credence to Paula Jones and her story, because obviously the left is afraid of canceling Bill. I mean, Bill Clinton has certainly, you know, remains unscathed after all of this, which is still in this day and age in the Me Too movement, if you want to call it that, shocking. I also think it's interesting that Paula Jones said that she has nothing to do with the Me Too movement, or better yet, the Me Too movement has nothing to do with me. But yet she won't talk to Fox News when we did a very, very lengthy documentary and we covered every single angle, both sides. She didn't want to say a word. Yeah, you know, it's fascinating. I don't know if, if, if the series got a bigger rating, would that be, make us closer to canceling Bill Clinton? I mean, it's true. He's kind of revered as an elder political statesman in the Democratic Party, but right. obviously took a lot more heat once the Me Too movement cast what happened uh, 20 years ago, ago in a very different light. Look, uh, Monica Lewinsky is also out there promoting an HBO Max documentary. It's called 15 mm-hmm. Minutes of Shame, saying, and this is true, she was the first to be nationally humiliated by the Internet when the Internet was more in its infancy. And then she interviews other people right. uh, who uh, were savaged by a social media mob, who, some of them made mistakes. But I guess my counter to that is some people deserve to be shamed for things that they did. I agree. And I believe that Bill Clinton, till this day, I mean, will live down in infamy for being shamed and should be more shamed than Monica Lewinsky. He was over 20 years her senior and she her life was completely shattered. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's interesting, though, that the liberal Hollywood elites essentially do not want to promote this series. If you think about it through the pandemic, we've all been watching Netflix and Hulu and FX and all of these docuseries. Why hasn't then this been promoted? Um, Why hasn't this sold the way that all these other documentaries? Obviously, until this day, I believe that the the liberal media and and also the Hollywood elites are still protecting their liberal brand, and that would be Bill Clinton. And I believe that there's a double standard. Had had Hillary Clinton back in the day left her husband, would she have had a, a better standing when it came to running for president? It's interesting, Georgina Chapman. Remember, when she was vilified uh, after not leaving Harvey Weinstein right away and her fashion line would have crumbled if she hadn't walked away. But yet Hillary Clinton moved on to run for the White House. It's just interesting how how certain Democrats have such protection in Hollywood. But on the other hand, Monica Lewinsky has been interviewed uh, on CNN, uh, on the Today Show, on Daily Show. Right. uh, But that doesn't necessarily translate into people. I don't know, like everyone likes to watch, you know, Princess Diana documentaries. But I don't know that a lot of people want (laughs) to relive Linda Tripp and all of the sleazy stuff that went on. No, I think, first of all, that they have nothing to gain. And and I think that people are tired of cancel culture uh, and they don't want to resurrect something that died years ago. This is over. It's done. Uh, I believe that Monica Lewinsky has every right to say her piece, but she already has. And I just don't see this really moving forward. I mean, let's move on. Well, I'm glad she's been able to sort of rebuild her life and be an anti-bully advocate and all that. She couldn't answer one question on the HBO show, so I'll throw it to you. If social media had existed, if we lived in the Twitter sphere back in 1998 when the scandal broke, would Bill Clinton have been canceled? 
I think in the Me Too movement, yes. I believe that because it's such a different era now than it was back then, um, that yes, I believe with social media, absolutely, he would have been crushed. Uh, would he have been removed from office? Maybe not. I mean, would he be impeached? Yes. But I, I don't think much would have changed politically. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of with you on that. I, I, as someone who mm -hmm. covered it and lived through it, I mean, people forget how yeah. utterly dominant a story. There was no Facebook or Twitter. Utterly dominant a story was on every kind yeah. of channel, every kind of website. But ultimately, there would have been enough Democratic senators uh, to sustain him in office after the impeachment. Sure. Julie Banderas, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us again. Great to see you.